The honey spice, possibly the most interesting and uh, surprising of the three beers. Uh, I was blown away when I first tasted this because I was expecting something very, very different. And what I got was uh, really quite a sweet, sweet beer with lots of um, uh, pear caramel flavors and bubble gum and candy floss and all sorts of amazing flavors and smells coming from it. And my first reaction was dessert. I thought the first thing that I'm gonna do with this is maybe a creme caramel or uh, a cheesecake or, or some roasted pears or something that was sweet that would go along with it. And as time went by, I started to correct that and thought about other things that would uh, be s almost in conflict with the, with the beer, but work alongside it. So I've gone for a slightly gamier dish instead and I'm, I'm, I'm doing a main course. So what we've got is roast pigeon, which I've just poached uh, in a little bit of uh, chicken stock for a few minutes, taking the skin off because I find the skin a little bit tough. So we've just got uh, a very naked pigeon. Some pear, I'm going to do some roasted pear. I'm going to have some fresh pear alongside it as well. The, the roasted pear is going to be with lots of spices. I've got nutmeg and, uh, and mixed spice and cinnamon, which, uh, which should be beautiful with the, with, with the beer as well. I'm going to make a sauce with the, the bones from the pigeon and I'm going to finish it off with one thing that I think is going to make this dish, and that is toasted caraway seeds. So I've got some caraway seeds that I'm gonna finish the whole thing off with, and I think that's gonna bring everything together and be the one element that really finishes this beer off. I'm gonna take the pigeon, so I've got a nice hot pan, hot oil, put the pigeon in until I've got a nice, nice uh, caramelization, it's nicely brown on the, on the, on the flesh. So now that I've got that nicely browned and I've got this nice coloured all, 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 all the way around, I'm going to add some butter to it, a couple of, couple of knobs of butter. I'm going to get that foaming up and then I'm going to baste the, the pigeon so that I can cook it from the inside as well as the outside. Just being careful that we don't burn the butter so it's not got a bitterness to it. I'll just spoon the butter into the cavity of the pigeon and that cooks it from inside as well as the outside. With the pear, I'm going to dredge it in the spices, it's quite liberally. Just sprinkle the spices on, then I'm going to just rub them in as well. And then on the stove, I've got some, a little bit of that rapeseed oil and some butter that's just come up so that it's just lightly foaming. I'm going to put the pear in, and that will roast in there for about 20 minutes until all those spices are nicely glazed and caramelized. It'll be nice and soft and warm all the way through uh, and the, those spices will, will impregnate the pear also. So I'm gonna sit this now on the side of the stove just so that it slowly roasts while I'm doing the preparation for the rest of the dish. So, and in the meantime, we're gonna take the pigeon off of the bone. So I make an incision down the backbone and then around the wishbone. Wish That's released. I'll just take the knife and go over the rib cage. I don't need to take, keep the legs on, I'm going to use those for my sauce. So I cut it off of the legs, just trim it up a little bit. You can see that's really nice and pink but that's really nicely cooked as well. All we're going to have to do to finish that off is warm it up. There's no, uh, no more cooking that you need with that. It's gonna be delicious. Cut up the carcass of the pigeon, because this is gonna make my sauce. So just chop it into pieces, really. You can use a knife for this, but I prefer to use the scissors. So I've got all of those nice bones from the pigeon. I'm taking some celery in with this, and I'm gonna thicken it up with some oats, which are just your common garden porridge oats, which I've soaked uh, for about an hour. So into a nice hot pan, some rapeseed oil, a little rapeseed oil, I don't, you don't need too much. And then I'm adding some chopped shallots to that. Just gonna start roasting those. Sweat them down nicely. 
And they're already starting to take on a little colour. This is when I add the celery. I don't want too much colour on the celery because I want the flavour of fresh celery throughout. And just when they start to soften slightly, I'm going to add the bones from the carcass. Okay, that's quite nicely roasted now. I'm just going to deglaze the pan with a little cider. And this is a Cornish cider from Cornish Orchards. To accentuate again the pear element of the dish, it's, a, it's actually a pear cider. I'm, I reduce that down until there's nothing left, so it leaves no alcohol, just a nice flavour. Then to finish this off, I've got a, a chicken stock, which I've made with roasted chicken bones. Now that come up to the boil, and then I take it off of the boil, so that it just simmers. And you get all those lovely flavours coming through into the sauce. To finish, I'm going to sprinkle that toasted caraway over both the, the pigeon breasts and a little bit on the pears, both the, both the roasted and the raw pears. I'm also going to grate some hazelnuts, which have just been peeled and toasted on the top of the pigeon. Give it that nice nuttiness. I'm going to take the pigeon and I'm just going to slice it in half. Got a nice pink pigeon breast in. Now all that's left to do is put it on the plate. So I have the roasted pear first. Just a little bit of the sea kale on top of that. The pigeon breasts, just nicely angled. Some of that nice raw pear just for the fresh element. A little bit more sea kale. And then just a drizzle of the sauce. I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit of those toasted caraway seeds on the plate to finish off with. Because this is really the flavour that I think brings the whole thing together and makes, makes it work perfectly with a honey spice. So that's the roasted English pigeon with uh, roasted spiced pear, fresh pear, caraway seeds and sea kale. <laughs>